of, of what is adding fractions with unlike denominators compared to adding rational expressions with unlike denominators. So basically, when you guys look at this, again, you guys can see we have two fractions here. And they do not have the same denominators. So again, what we're going to want to do is first thing is identify the LCD. Okay. Now, again, as I mentioned, the easiest way to form the LCD is to multiply your two denominators. However, I will caution you, that's not always going to be the case. All right. However, when you have two denominators that are in simplified form, that more than likely is always going to be the case unless they're already in the same. But so basically what I would do here, since it's not very apparent on what they share, the only the common denominator that they're both going to share is going to be their product, which would be x plus 1 times x minus 8. So the LCD is simply their product, just like the LCD was 21, 3 times 7. Okay? Again, it's not always going to be that case, but very often it will. And uh, we're going to do an example next time where it won't. So if here's my LCD, now I need to determine how do I get x minus 8 to be x plus 1 times x minus 8. What would I need to multiply x minus 8 by? Nine. x plus hey. 1. And whatever I do in the denominator, I have to do in the numerator. Over here, I have x plus 1 in my denominator. To, again, determine to get this to my common denominator, I need to multiply by x minus 8. So now, what you guys can see is now I need to simplify my numerators. So to simplify my numerators, I need to apply distributive property. Okay. Now, you could multiply this out, but I'm just going to leave this as a product down below. So what I have here then is negative 2x plus positive 16 all over x minus 8 times x plus 1 plus 9x plus 9 all over x minus 8 times x plus 1. Okay, So what I'd like you guys to see now is you see that we have now two fractions with the same denominator. So when we have two fractions with the same denominator, we just combine the terms in the numerator. So I'm just going to combine 9x and negative 2x, 16 and 9. Okay, So this becomes 7x plus 25 all over x minus 8 times x plus 1. Yeah, I mean, you could multiply through the denominator if you want to. I just prefer a lot of times just to leave it and multiply it out. OK? Any questions? <coughs>